So moving on from absolute value equations, we're going into absolute value inequalities. As part of the do now, I just have your um, a couple of review uh, equations. Don't forget that the first one means the, the distance from five is four. So we are trying to find all the values that are four away from five. Instead of drawing it, I'm just mentally picturing it. That means the five is in the middle and I'm adding and subtracting four. So I just wrote that here. And the same for number two, um, it's the distance uh, that is 18 away from negative one. So therefore I'm taking negative one and adding and subtracting 18. So I don't have to do a bunch of work. So I don't have to write it all algebraically. If you can do that mentally, I'm fine with that, especially for a simple problem like this. Now moving on, and I'm going on the assumption that you've already done the interval notation, set builder notation, little mini lesson that I've created and put underneath here. So I'm gonna use, start using interval notation and we might practice doing both, having both interval and set builder notation. So let me write down in words what each of these means. So don't forget the absolute value of X means the distance from zero. So in other words, this is the distance from zero is less than five. So if I look at the number line, I have the number zero in the middle, the values that are exactly five away from zero is negative five and five. And I'm going to try to find the values that are less than five away. That means they need to be closer to zero than any other values, uh, closer to zero than five. So in that case, if I look at different possible values, if I'm out here, this number here, where that little figure is, it, that's further away than five. So it's definitely not in that region over there. If I move a little bit closer on the, if I'm at actually five, I'm exactly five, or negative five, excuse me. I'm exactly five away from zero. So I want all the values that are less than five away from zero. So in other words, in other words I need to move closer to zero. So that means it's gonna be all of these values in here. These values like negative four, negative three, negative 3.795, all of those are all less than five away from zero. And the same happens on the other side of zero toward the number five. The number 1.1, the number 2.76 is also less than five away from zero until I get to five. And because there's no equal sign underneath the five, it is gonna be an open set. So it's gonna be open circles here. If I'm using set builder notation, I have to use the between this statement, X such that uh, negative five is less than X, which is less than five. So in other words, X is between negative five and five, which kind of makes sense. We need all the values that are less than five away. If I'm using interval notation, it's gonna be negative five to five, not inclusive. Similarly, if I'm doing the um, absolute value uh, is greater than, absolute value of X is greater than, or, or in this case, it's greater than five. That means it's the distance from zero is now greater than five. So let's write that, the distance from zero is greater than, oops, greater than five. If I'm, again, on the number line, exactly five away is at negative five and five, and I'm looking for values that are far away from five, that's on the outsides of negative five and five. Those are the values that are gonna be further than five away. So that means I'm gonna to have to graph on the outside of negative five, not inclusive because there's no equal sign, and on the outside of positive five, so that's pointing away from the zero essentially, and yet my head is in the way, so let's see here if we can't move it up a little bit like that. If I use set builder, I would have to write it as an or statement, x is less than negative five, or x is greater than five. Interval notation, negative infinity to negative five, union five to infinity, not inclusive anywhere. 
So in other words, if we look at this, if the absolute value is less than a distance away, it's going to be um, an intersection or it meets in the middle. And if it, that's called a, an intersection or a conjunction. And if the absolute value is further away than some distance, that means that the absolute value is greater than or greater than or equal to some other value. That's going to be a disjunction or a, a union of sets. So in this case, we're going to write down it's a conjunction or intersection when absolute value is less than. A set value and it's a disjunction or union when the absolute value is greater than a set value a set value we need that to, oh, I have to have my face again here. Let's move out of the way here. We need that um, to help us write, if you're going to do them algebraically, we're going to have to figure out, okay, am I finding the intersection or the union of those two sets?